Okay, so I have this problem, right? I have a cousin that lives in Florida, I think. He lives somewhere away from me. And I think that's a bit of a problem. I'm trying to figure out how I can get to know this kid as well as he can get to know me because I'm not that bad of a person to be friends with. Anyways, uh, I want to start this series called Hey Chris and it's pretty much going to be little things about me that he can get to know since I never really go visit because one, it's super far, two, I'm a super lazy person, and three, I'm always occupied with a bunch of things. I got work, I'm gonna start school, I have a kid, so on and so forth. But we're gonna cut that short for now. What I wanna talk about right now is, hey buddy, are we buddies? We can be buddies. Anyways, you don't know much about me, so I want you to think of different things that you want to know. Right now, today this video is kind of special because I forgot to say happy birthday, so I'm saying happy birthday now. And my birthday comes a day after you, so we're a little bit closer than you think. But let's go ahead and start with superheroes. Now, I juggled it a bunch of times, like, uh, is he a Marvel guy, is he a DC guy, is he both? Maybe we can get to both at some point, but I want to talk to you about my favorite superhero from the DC universe. Now, anybody that would know me would think, oh, it might be Batman. Anybody that doesn't know me would probably say Superman. I do not like Superman. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not a big fan. A guy that has all these superpowers and everything. It just seems a little overpowered at times. But I'm here to tell you that my favorite DC hero would be on my head currently right now. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm rocking, rocking the Lantern Corps logo. And I know what you're thinking. A lot of the, the movies out there and the animated movies, they talk very low about Green Lantern and believe it you already know this I'm pretty sure you already know this you look like a superhero buff there's a lot of lanterns out there I'm here to talk I'm sorry about the burp I'm drinking root beer right now again uh, I want to talk about one specific lantern and that would be Hal Jordan now, believe it or not, this guy's pretty cool. I don't, I don't know if you know too much about him, but I'm here to show you why he's my favorite. Why this Green Lantern is my favorite. And maybe you'll learn to look at superheroes a little differently, more in depth. I mean, I have like this whole notebook of just different ways he's cool. I mean, first of all, he was an air pilot. He was, he was a very good one at that. Uh, he found Aubin Sir when his plane crashed, when his spaceship crashed. And that's when Aubin Sir, you know, deemed him worthy of the ring. Usually the ring, once the lantern dies, it slips off the finger and it goes and finds somebody worthy. When it came to Aubin Sir though, he willingly gave his ring to this person whom he does not know but deemed him worthy and the ring did accept him. Now, I believe it, I read some hefty amounts of Green Lanterns. I mean, we got, what is this? The Wrath of the First Lanterns. Ugh. Got Blackest Night. This is actually a very dark comic book, so I would wait a little bit until you think you're ready to read this one. It's pretty dark. And then uh, we got Green Lantern Rebirth. Also another great one. Hal Jordan is probably... You have no idea how much I like Green Lantern. I even go as far as say, uh, uh, I'm pretty big. He's a pretty cool guy. And if you don't think so, or maybe you're just not that into it, I'm here to tell you why I think he's a cool guy. Um, he's one of the founders of the Justice League. Not many heroes can say that. I mean, I, I like Nightwing a lot. 
But even he's not that big to where he's a founder of a Justice League. Uh, you even got some people out there that just didn't even start that way. I know Hawk Girl, Hawk Man, they, they weren't even founders. They, they were there in the little TV show, but they weren't one of the founders. What makes him so great, it's, it's not that... It's just the fact that he's ready to jump into battle. He's very courageous. It's He doesn't do it so carelessly, but he thinks it out, though. He really does, and it's kind of cool. But I want to talk about how strong this guy is. Uh, I remember watching Justice League War. That was when uh, Darkseid came to Earth, and Justice League was duking it out with him. And... They, they didn't really implement Green Lantern so well in that. And it was just kind of lame how he just got beat up constantly and getting hurt. They have no idea what this guy can do. Okay, I mean, we could just, we could talk about strength alone. I mean, this guy can lift up tons. Uh, do you, I mean, do you even know what a supernova is? A supernova is when a star explodes. It's getting ready to die and it just explodes and it causes so much destruction. The Green Lantern, scratch that, Hal Jordan can contain a star using his ring to minimize the damage that could be done. That's very strong. That's really strong. I mean, he's he's beaten Amazo with one shot. He's beaten other Kryptonians. He's fought Superman twice and won. It's very... I mean, the guy can stop the earth from moving if he wanted to and he has i forgot what he did it for but he stopped the earth from moving like that's how strong he is i mean he's he's even accidentally destroyed a planet before it was just like he my bad sorry and it's just like hal jordan destroyed a planet by accident that's you, you, don't, you have no idea you have no idea and uh, he's he's contained stars like I said and he's moved planets before uh, he's super fast as well like uh, he can go from earth to Mars in less than 15 minutes he's caught professor zoom he's caught the reverse flash and he's even caught the flash himself when he was uh, controlled by parallax a lot goes further than what this ring can do. This ring gives him these, this ability to do things that you wouldn't expect him to do. If Hal Jordan was contaminated in some way through poison, he can use the energy from the ring to get rid of that poison. He, If somebody was trying to mind control him, the ring can pretty much push that telepathy out. It, it it goes on and on like you wouldn't you wouldn't believe but because the ring it works so fast in nanoseconds that it's hard to just beat that i mean the kind the the little movies that they show they really don't do him justice on that it's kind of crazy on this guy's fast he's strong uh even the armor or the shield he wears, he's taken a punch from Superboy Prime. I don't think you quite know who Superboy Prime is yet, but he's stronger than any Kryptonian you'll ever meet, and he's probably the nearly, maybe the strongest DC person ever. You know, with all the different multiverses and stuff, but it'd be Superboy Prime. He can take a punch from Superboy Prime. That's incredible. Hal Jordan has been kicked through a planet before like all the way through all the way through he just got kicked all the way he's still around um, there was even a time where Hal did die and Kyle Rayner I'll put up a picture somewhere around of Kyle Rayner Kyle Rayner is the White Lantern and he brought Hal Jordan back to life through his ring and that's just you don't you don't even know I can't even tell you uh, what I thought was pretty lame was uh, 
the weakness for Green Lanterns were the was the color yellow. There's a whole history behind that. I don't want to get into it. I just want to. You can have a couple laughs about ah uh, they're they're weak to yellow. I don't even want to tell you about the first lantern that was his weakness was wood. That was ridiculous. But it's how Jordan has overcome that weakness of yellow, and that's kind of cool too. How Jordan is the lantern the green lantern i mean there is even a story where of course parallax was controlling him but it's still hal jordan he defeated the entire lantern core now, i don't like i don't like saying killing to you because well you're still young and and you sh you should know less and less of death until you're of age but he killed the whole lantern core that's a lot of power that's a lot of strength and what, what makes all of this great, I mean, yeah, all the Green Lanterns can do that, right? Mm, kind of. Why Hal Jordan can do all of these things is because of the ring, right? Also, maybe. The ring is only powered by a person's will. So if he believes he can do it, Hal's gonna make it happen. And that'd be a good hero to follow. Batman's got his ways that kind of his morality kind of changes here and there and Superman is the same way he's alienated how Jordan is a human being turned space cop I, I like the decisions being made here and I like the fact that his power is based on his will so the stronger you believe in yourself the will to do something the stronger you are and it really can't get better than how in my opinion he is my favorite DC hero and to be honest buddy I don't know your DC hero what what, what are you a Batman guy are, are you a flash guy my sister loves the flash and I, I just want to know more what do you what do you think Chris should we do Marvel next should we go off and do maybe Star Wars characters what are you into I want to know, uh, you know, as much as about you than you would about me. But, I mean, until that happens, buddy, I'll just keep dishing out random videos. But, it's always going to be Green Lancer for me. I'll see you on the other side.